Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, we're going to talk about data in Hugo. More specifically, we're talking about the data folder. And so the data folder is a folder that you've probably been seeing. Maybe you understand what it does, maybe you don't. Essentially, the data folder is just a place to put any data that you're going to be using for your website. And so in a way, it acts as like a mini database for your website. So inside the data, folder, you can put um, JSON files, you can put YAML files, or you can put TOML files. Basically, it's the same type of content that you have in your um, front matter. So if I go into my content folder, and this is just a page that I have set up, you'll notice that I have some front matter here with some key value pairs. This is the type of data that you're going to be storing inside of your data folder. So in my case, I have just this JSON file that I found online. It lists out each of the United States with like the name, the capital, and the latitude and longitude. This is kind of like an example of something you might want to put inside the data folder, right? So I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to create a new file inside this data folder. And we're just going to call it states.json, okay? Inside the states.json file, we'll paste all the states, okay? And so we have this states.json file inside the data folder. The question now is how can we access this data inside of our templates? Now, in my case, I have two layouts. I have a, a list layout and a single layout. So let's take a look at this single layout. How can we access the data from the states.json file? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Um, and what I wanna do is range over it. The information in this states.json is formatted so that I can kind of loop through each one of these um, objects and display their information. And so we're going to type range and you're going to access this data using dot site dot data and then the name of the file. And in my case, it's just states. And so I can range through all of the states inside this file using that range command. And then we're just gonna end. And so inside here, I just wanna type out the name. And so you can see here, we have all these different attributes, name, capital, latitude, longitude. Let's just start with name and we'll see what happens. And so I'm gonna head back over to my web browser and I'm going to pull up one of my single pages and you'll see here that we have a list of all of the names. Okay. Inside this data folder, I've just looped through and grabbed each of the names. I can do the same thing for, um, capital, right? And you'll see that the list updates with all the state capitals as well. This is actually pretty easy to understand. I think if you have had experience like ranging through um, structures in Hugo before, then doing it with data is really easy. Uh, you know, the only sort of thing here is just how to access it. And so you can access it with site.data and then the name of the file or the names of any folders that the file might be stored in inside the data folder. And again, inside of here, you can store JSON, YAML or TOML files. It doesn't really matter. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with. So that's the basics of accessing and using the data folder. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.